What's up, family? Your boy, T.O.J., Uncle, the Opinion Junkie. Who Hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to go to artbyrico.com if you want to support the channel. That's A-R-T-B-Y-R-I-C-C-O.com. Art by Rico. So, anyway, um, rapper T.I., real name is Tip Harris, um, seemed to be under some trouble again because he opened his mouth and said something that I actually kind of agree with. Uh, basically on his, uh, Expeditious podcast, or Expeditiously, whatever it's called, he said, um, that spending time with your daughter, or time with your daughter, is thought prevention, okay, uh, thought prevention hour, and I agree with that, but here's the thing, on one hand, it's not just spending time, it's spending quality time, okay, because... You can spend all the time in the world with your kids, but if you're not really paying any any mind, okay, and not really having any conversations with your kids, then it's all for nothing. You can have adult conversations, or you can have <laughs> adult arguments. A lot of people don't understand that there's a big difference between having adult conversations with your children and adult arguments, because they're young adults. They don't really know better. They think they know better, but it's your job to challenge them every day on the ideas that they have about life because they don't really know the truth about life that's where the adult comes in okay so I'm friends with a lot of people who have daughters that are out of control and the daughters were completely sheltered because they had what they had parents who spent time with them but they didn't spend constructive quality time with their kids okay that's the difference. There was a girl in our neighborhood growing up. The daddy looked like Ice T, a light skinned Creole dude. And the daughter ended up being, she looked almost like him, but a girl. You know, she had hazel eyes, uh, silky long hair. Like, she looked almost like Vanessa Williams. I'll make it easy on y'all. She looked, and the, the guy, the, the daddy would always just like be like, never, he would never let, her, let, never let her come out the house. And you can tell. I grew up in like the like the ghetto, like the hood hood. And you can tell that the way the man managed his kids and his family, that the family was destined to get the fuck out of our neighborhood. You can tell they was like gonna the kids wanna was gonna grow up because he, he would never let them get into any kind of riff raff, any kind of trouble with us. And we all hated the family him hated the guy, the daddy, because of that. The minute that girl went to college, <laughs> yeah, buddy. That same girl got three kids now. I don't know if she actually finished school, but we all know that story. Every last one of us know the story of the girl or the guy who was, who was sheltered their whole life. And the minute they cut loose and got on the college campus and got some cute dogs in their system, <laughs> and um, that, that fraternity sorority life hit them like a ton of bricks because they had no cousins, no sisters, and no street person in the family to lace them up okay me and my wife argue with, argue about you know my daughter all the time I, my wife is one of the people who got the wrong ideology when it comes down to parenting okay i'm a man and my daughter at least got a, a, an idea of what a working man looks like which i told her i always tell her every day carissa don't you fuck with no dude who ain't got no money and number two don't ever let a man put you in a position to where you need him for money, okay? And I, and the mama come right behind me and, like, she don't reinforce it, but she'll always say, but a man should, you know, bring, bring home the bacon and blah, 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 woman talk. And I'm like, no, fuck that shit. You know, don't be lazy. Don't depend on no man for nothing. And it's just, you know, you got to have consistent parent, um, parenting or what have you. So, T.I., might be wrong on a couple of other things. He, he may even be hypocritical, which I think he is. He's a but he's a rapper. Rappers don't do everything that they fucking rap about. They can rap rappers talking about murdering and killing and pushing kilos. And if that was the case, every rapper would be on every rapper would be under the jailhouse. Okay. So yeah, it may be like the kettle pot calling the kettle black or you know whatever y'all want to say about it. But man, dude, telling the truth. All right. A broken clock is is right at least twice a day. So it's not a matter of 
screw the messenger, did you get the message? That's that's the issue with the hip hop community because a lot of people in the hip hop community, as they get older, Snoop Dogg included, I remember Snoop Snoop just made a comment. He got in trouble about okay about WAP, you know W A P or whatever, about Cardi B and you know Megan Stallion and all this and whatnot. But I remember Snoop Dogg at the MTV Awards with two black chicks on dog on dog chains, walking them on some pimp shit. But I mean, it's an act. It's a character that he's selling. So he might not be the right messenger. But I mean, the, these guys, you know, may not be the right person to, uh, uh, you know, to communicate that message. But I mean, the message is, is valid. Okay. I had one of my friends, another YouTuber, we got into like a slight argument. And he was like, I'm sick and tired of like, like, you know, men body counting women. And I said, what you mean? He said, women, you know, like men want to be in a position when I'm, you know, like, black power dudes or whatever saying that you know black men want to police a woman's body parts the same way the white man does i said what the fuck are you talking about he's like yeah, a woman can, a woman can have uh, a man can have like a hundred sex partners but you expect a woman to sit there and and just like you know like not be uh sexually liberated and my attitude about that is simple sex with a woman from a woman's point of view is completely intrusive she has to want you to intrude her body so to speak you know i mean obviously that's why our body parts are designed a certain type of way okay it's easy for a guy to just want to get on top of any woman and you know do his business but it takes a, a, a special type of woman to be what they call sexually liberated because you don't really know all the sex partners that these these men have been with it's a completely different story that's why you see all these girls in, in, in these black neighborhoods you know, full of children and no dude. Because a man can do his business, get up, and just leave her there with a baby. That's the difference. It ain't a matter of a guy sitting there trying to body count a woman and say, women shouldn't be able to have sexual fun and be liberated. You know, they, they can be, you know, um, responsible. But there's a reason there's a humongous 70% fatherless rate in the black community. Okay? And you don't want your daughter to be one of the women who follow the stupid, you know, Wop pussy, you know, um, ideology end up being a girl with all, you know, with all these baby daddies because she got sexually liberated and, you know, the guys that she slept with was no good niggas anyway. You know what I'm saying? And I tell my daughter the exact same thing. We're listening to them stupid ass rap videos and thinking that shit is real. Them girls are millionaires for the most part. And their kids are all like messed up in the head. Anyway, fellas, yeah, I think T.I. was telling you, you know, he, he's kind of right. But at the end of the day, he's kind of wrong because you can spend a whole lot of time you want with your kids, bro. But if you're not spending quality, constructive time with them, <laughs> it, it ain't going nowhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe, fellas. I'm out.